Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nuke coming with, coming at you with another episode of Day Trading with Nuke. And this is your morning watch list for Thursday, December 20th, 2018. And we're going to cover what the SPY looked like yesterday for starters, right? It chopped around, started going up, was at the top of the pre-market high to low, right? And then all of a sudden, once it broke, it drops down has a hell of a recovery, and then makes this massive drop again, 100% low. What does that mean for us today? Well, we just need to kind of like see what the range is looking like. So, I don't want to tell you if it's going to make a recovery or if it's going to fall on its face, but pre-market high is 257, pre-market low is 248. 100% extension to the upside is 266. 100 or 200% extension 275. 100% extension to the downside 239. 200% extension to the downside 230. So really going to wait and see but this here was well respected yesterday so um whichever way it picks today i expect to see it um tet retest that on the daily it just was an absolute horrible end of the day for the spy but great for us if you were on the right side of it so you see how steep it was and that single candle of yesterday just a huge red candle right all right, so I'm going to go through the tickers today, but it's going to be short and sweet. We're not going to stick on them. Apple, what did Apple do overnight? Well, yesterday had this massive sell-off, and then the pre-market range is not bad, um, but it's definitely being a little more conservative this morning. Puts the pre-market high at 161.69, pre-market low at 160. This thing has a $5.86 average true range, so 100% extension to the upside, 163, 100% extension to the downside, 158, and you can see what that looked like on the daily, so Amazon, this thing had a hell of a sell-off yesterday. came one down tested this so where are we looking at today pre-market high of 1502 pre-market low of 1480 100 percent extension to the upside at 1524 100 percent extension to the downside at 1458 what did it look like yesterday just like all the others really big red candle Baba, no, I'm sorry, Boeing. Whew. Getting my baths mixed up. Sound like sheep on the hill. Chopped around, then when the spy went, Baba went. Oh, one second here. All right, Baba, or BA, sorry, did it again. Extension to the upside for 100% is 325. Expansion to the low side, 315. Good range of motion, normally has about $13.00. It's anybody's game today. And then it's still sitting in the middle of the Bollinger Bands on the daily. Next up is going to be Bob Ba. There we go. You can see what it did. It was an all day fader. Pre market, what we are looking at. Pre-market high, 138.36. Pre-market low, 136. About a $2, two and a third range of motion there. And then on the high side extension, 140.62. On the low side extension, 133. Yesterday, that red day, put us in this downward spiral. So I'll be looking to, for a continuation to the downside, hopefully, if it can break this previous resistance line which is new support all right next up for me is going to be facebook it's 
same thing huge sell off from yesterday you see woo, right so Pre-market high at 135.99, steadily going downhill by a little at a time. Pre-market low of 132.10, so about four dollars right there. Was that maybe five dollars? Let's see, 32 to 36. Yeah, four dollars. Oh, it's gotta be five. I'm missing something. 136. No, four dollars. I I don't add guys. That's one thing I don't do. 100% extension to the upside is 140 and 30 cent. 100% extension to the downside 127.37. And where does that put us? Huge red candle, damn near spanning the entire Bollinger Band for Facebook. Um, definitely more inclined to the downside for tomorrow for myself on Facebook. Nvidia. Nvidia, same thing except where it bounced. It's underneath this old support line or, or old resistance line. And if it stays underneath there, that should be super solid. But yeah, it sold off really good yesterday. And then what we're looking at today pre market high of 139.50, pre market low of 137, about a $1.50 uh, range of motion there. Has a true range of about 10 bucks. 100% extension to the upside is 141. 100% extension to the downside is 136.40. If Nvidia gets to going, guys, look to see this thing could bust out of its shell. I would not, exp I would not be shocked to see it go up to 142.51 on the high side, or 134.96 on the low side. So, I'm definitely more um, short biased on this today. But it depends. We're on the bottom side of the Bollinger Band. So on the daily. So what I'm expecting is kind of like what we did here. Where you see it riding this side of the Bollinger Band down. I, we've seen that gap down here. And I expect that's where we're at right now. Alright. Tesla. Tesla does what it wants to do. But let's just look at some numbers, right? So. For today. Pre-market high at 334, pre-market low at 330. 100% extension is 337.97 to the upside, 326 to the downside. What did that look like for us? <coughs> Over the last few days, it's basically filled the entire Bollinger Band. And you see that Bollinger Band starting to roll. So if it follows the market down, if the market indeed has a down day today, um, expect this thing could roll off pretty heavy. So, where does that look like on the daily down here? What if it gets to going, you know? Let's say it comes all the way down 322. Actually, let me move this one, right? Let's go back here. We'll see where this puts us. 322, you can see where that's at on the daily. 318. So, yeah, there is range. There is range to be had. And it could go up as well, guys. Could go up as well. We don't know. We only react. We don't predict. So we'll have to see how this plays out. Netflix had some good range of motion yesterday. Average true range of 1485. Um, it's sitting here neatly underneath this previous resistance line. So... What are we looking at on Netflix? Pre-market high at 269.60. Pre-market low at 265.86. 100% extension to the upside, 273. 100% extension to the low side, 262.12. And where does that leave us? We were dead in the middle of the Bollinger Band. We pushed down a little bit more, but we are still pretty much centered. So... It's not ready to fall off the map just yet, but I expect, like the others, where we fell down this side, the Bollinger Band on the daily, yeah, we had that pop. Comes back to the middle, falls down the side. Comes back to the middle, comes down. Now we're back in the middle. 
If everything else goes and Netflix goes with it, expect that continuation to stay inside the Bollinger Band, but follow down the bottom side of it. All right, we'll cover just a couple of stocks on the uh, shorter or the smaller side. Go with AMD. I'm going to maximize this chart. So, actually, that ain't helping you much at all, is it? There we go. Hundred percent to the up, eighteen eighty. Pre market high, eighteen forty. Pre market low, eighteen. Pre market hundred percent to the downside is seventeen sixty. Where does that look like for us? Coming down the bottom side of that Bollinger Band. All right. IQ, same thing. We're already on the bottom side of the Bollinger Band. It's already going. Had a good sell off yesterday. What are IQ's numbers looking like? 100% on the high side, 1611. Pre market high, 1578, 1545. Pre market low, and a 100% extension to the downside, 1512. Average true range of about a dollar thirteen, so uh, maybe we'd be looking at the two hundred percent extension here, the fourteen seventy nine on the downside and sixteen forty four on the upside. Either way it goes, I have to wait and see. Twitter surprises all of us. You see how bad of a day it had yesterday. It had a pretty good day starting out, and then it comes down. Pre-market uh, extension 100% to the upside, 33.70. Pre-market high, 33.19. Pre-market low, 32.68. 100% extension on the downside, 32.17. Where is it at? Right in the middle of the Bollinger Band at the moment. Alrighty. Next up, we're going to be looking at MU... Hell of a sell off yesterday, but still, that yesterday it was well within this pre market high to low range. And if you look, our pre market high to low is much thinner today, so I don't put a whole lot of stock in what I see here. But I'll let you gravitate to these on your own. Um, 3409, 3350, 3291, 3332. Pre-market high is 31.73. Pre-market low of 31.14. And then to the downside, 31.14, 30.55, 29.96, And what does that look like on the daily? Whoop, dropping on off there. So, I don't know. We will see. MU, uh, I don't have as much courage with today. SQ. All right. You take a look at it. 100% extension to the upside, 6081. Pre market highs, 5978. Pre market low, 5888. Pre market. 100% uh, extension to the downside, 57.72. And we are at the bottom side of the Bollinger Band. All right. Let's see. Last one. Intel. So. Down, 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 down yesterday. What does that look like today? I'm just going to read them out, guys. We'll see how far we go, right? 4875, 4806, 4737, 4668, 4599, 4530, 4461, 4392, 4323, and 4254. Just, you know, you never know, right? How bad it's going to be. Had this big red candle. If the market goes, expect that continuation down. Um, it might even be on the outside of this Bollinger Band. We'll have to see. Um, it has had some outlier days before. 
So, so we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. I'd love to stick around and do more, but it's just a crapshoot. We'll have to see. We'll end this thing out. I'll pull the spy up again so it's nice and fresh in our minds. And, ugh, it's just an ugly baby, right? So hopefully this thing gets to going and just falls off the map and quits petering around. So, eh. We will see, guys. We will see. Give you something to look at it for as for yesterday. This pre-market high to low is huge. So, yeah. Eh. I don't know. Just we'll see, right? Don't don't get out of hand. Let the stock set up. Let the tickers come to you. Don't don't push your luck. And uh, above all, we're on a Thursday, so headed towards the weekend. Make sure you stay green. Don't don't start ruining your emotional capital. All right, guys. I'll see y'all this afternoon with a post market wrap up. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me some comments. And I am outie.